What's up you guys? It's been a while since I've gone out for some fresh ink. Today, I'm going to try to go out, hopefully, hopefully get uh, John 5. John 5 was the ex-lead guitarist for Marilyn Manson, current guitarist for Rob Zombie, and does his solo project. He's going to be out in the city. I'm actually running late, so i got to cut this intro very, very short. These are the pictures that I'm going to try to get signed. Uh, this is... A picture that I actually been wanting to get. Uh, well, I've I've been looking for this picture. This one right here. Um, it's when he was with Marilyn Manson when he used to play with Marilyn Manson, and this is something that I was uh, hoping to find when I was searching for pictures, and I'm lucky to be able to find that. I just hope to get it signed. Originally, I wanted to get it signed in blue in this light blue area right here, but after looking at the photo, I decided a nice gold would look perfect on this. Um, just pretty nice color uh, a nice gold will look good on this um, and you know how I hate switching pens I was actually thinking about doing this one in uh, in blue but if I'm doing gold on that I was thinking maybe go ahead and just have him do gold on it as well because uh, it'll match with the guitar and it'll match with the baby and it'll match his hair too so maybe a gold right up there or something I don't know uh, if he doesn't mind switching pens uh, I'll go ahead and get it with the blue sharpie. Also this one, um, if I did get it in gold, I'd do it right here. But I think it'd look better with the blue sharpie. So let's see how this goes and uh, hopefully we can get some ink done. So I got to my location about a while ago and I've just been waiting here. Actually, it's been over an hour since I've been waiting here. Um, still no sign of the band or John 5. Hopefully he'll get here soon because I do need to go pick up Adriana from work. She gets off at five o'clock and I'm about maybe an hour and 15, 20 minutes away from where she works, but I would have to take Bart back home and then have to go pick up my car from home and then go pick her up from work. So hopefully he'll get here soon. I just saw that the guys from the, the venue just started saving parking spots across the street for the tour buses. So that's a good sign. Anyways, I want to go ahead and show you guys this thing. I had met John five back in uh, 2003, I believe. And when I met him, I wasn't really collecting autograph 8x10s yet. And um, I didn't have anything to get signed by him. Actually, I had a Marilyn Manson CD signed by him. But I didn't have anything else. And I had my, uh, I had a, a paper bag, uh, paper bag uh, that I had got from Rasputin Records. And I had him sign the paper bag and I still have it. Of course I cut it out, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna, if I have time, I'm gonna show it to him and tell him that I still have it. Yeah, that's him. Should have known he was going to be with his wife. Alright guys, so I just got home. Uh, after waiting... How many hours was it? I got there at 2 o'clock and I left around almost 7 o'clock. So, almost 5 hours. After waiting almost 5 hours, I came home empty-handed. Now, I was really having a hard time deciding if I wanted to post this video or not, but um, I think it's only fair to show how going out for autographs isn't always a guarantee. So this is the only reason why I'm uploading this video. Not because I have anything to show, but just to prove that autographs is either a hit or a miss. It's not always cotton candies. <laughs> you know? So that's why I'm posting this video. Unfortunately, I hate that I need to post this video with nothing to show, but this is proof that you're not always going to get what you're going for. Um, I did see John 5, which you guys saw just a little while ago. Um, when, he, when he arrived, he went walking with his wife. And see, what I did was I decided to go wait at the corner where I saw him walk the direction towards. And what I should have done was, I should have just stayed in front of the venue. Because I had a feeling that he was gonna go around, around the block. And sure enough, that's exactly what he did. He went around the block. And when he went inside the venue, um, he actually came in, they told me he came in with his head, his head down, covering his face with his hat, because he didn't wanna be approached by anyone. So no one approached him. Um, but the people that were waiting outside were already people that were going to his meet and greet, so they didn't really have a reason to approach him. 
but um, only reason why I decided to go down the street is because I saw his handler, I'm guessing the tour manager, he kept looking at me kind of funny. And uh, I had a feeling that he was going to tell me that I couldn't get my stuff signed because he had a meet and greet. So I figured, you know, let, let me try to outsmart him by going down the street and getting him when he's walking back. But unfortunately, I was the one who got outsmarted when he went around the block and went in through the front door. And so that's just how it goes, guys. Um, you're never going to get, you're not always going to get what you're going out to get. Uh, so when you go out for an autograph, be prepared to come home empty handed. It's annoying, it sucks, it's a waste of time, five hours that I'll never get back. But um, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys didn't enjoy this video. But <laughs> if you do, go ahead and leave a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully we'll get some ink down the line. Um, I don't know what, who or what I'm going for next. Uh, it's been a while since I've gone out. And it sucks that my first outing in a very long time is, um, is an L. So, got nothing. Peace.